Now that you have created your Spruce site, let's take a look at the basics of setup and management on your new site and community. I'll be using our owner's community as an example. To enter management mode, make sure you are logged in, then click the Manage Site link near the top of your website. Your management bar will now display above your site. You use the tools in the Manage bar to add pages and features, manage member accounts, manage files, change the theme and appearance, edit site settings, add optional upgrades, access support, and read important announcements. You can exit Manage Mode by clicking the red button with the white X on the right side of the bar. You can get back to your start page in Management Mode by clicking the green back arrow on the left. The most common pages on Spruce sites are made up of draggable elements. Elements can pull in information from features on your site, information from another site, standalone features, or fully custom text in HTML. To add an element, click the Add Element button on your Page Tools box. This box is visible on any page that is element-based. In the Add Element box, hover over the Element category, then click on the element you want to add. Information about each element is displayed on the right when you hover over the element name. Fill out or change any settings, then click the Add Element button. The element will be added to the top of your page content. Hover over any elements you already have on your page to show tools for that element. To edit an element, click the green Edit button at the top left. To delete, click the red Delete button on the right. The group of lines in the center of the element toolbar is the drag handle. You can click and drag on this to move the element. Drag elements to rearrange them on your page. You can move them into another section on your page or just to change the order of the elements within a section. Sections will highlight as you move over them while dragging an element. Widgets are third-party elements you can use to add things like music, stock quotes, or games to your site. There are hundreds of different widgets you can add. Just click the Add Widget button on the Page Tools box. You can change the orientation of the Page Tools box by clicking the blue arrow. To add a page or feature to your site, start by clicking the Your Site menu, then click Add Page or Feature. On the New Page dialog, choose the type of page or feature you want to add. Several features are probably already installed based on your selections during the initial setup of your site. Clicking a type of page gives you a description and a continue button. Click it and customize any settings you need to finish adding your page. Tools to adjust the look of your site are in Appearance, Customize on your management bar. All the main options for adjusting colors, backgrounds, fonts, etc. are listed first. Additional styling and effects can be added by theme modifiers. You can see what modifiers are currently enabled on your theme and add and remove them from the theme modifiers section. Most appearance customizations show in real time as you make changes, so you can see what a change will look like before you save and apply it to your site. Under the advanced menu in appearance, you can edit custom modifiers, which is a great way to add CSS code to your site while still having access to your simple customization tools. Also located under Advanced, you can export your theme to a file you can download to your computer and you can upload a favicon. A favicon is a small icon that shows in the address bar of a user's browser when they are on your site. You can store multiple themes on your site. Use the Save as New Theme option under the Appearance menu to make a new theme. You can then make changes and not affect your previous theme. You can load previously saved themes from the Choose a Theme menu, as well as load a theme from the theme library or for, from an exported theme file. To manage your main site settings, go to Settings, Manage Settings on your management bar. You will be able to change things like whether your site is public or private, your title, subtitle, site logo, login settings, member profile settings, etc. You can add real-time member interaction with the Member Bar option on the Settings menu. The Skysim Member Bar allows you to add things like instant messaging, site chat room, site search, announcements, and much more.